Hi there, I am Pratiksha Mishra and you're listening to I Like It, a Queen production where we review anything and everything under the sun. And in this episode, I will tell you if I like Govinda Naam Mera. Uh, the one thing about Govinda Naam Mera that stood out to me right off the bat were the performances. So we're going to talk about if um, comedy as a thriller and like Bollywood, typical Bollywood comedies, how do they work? Do How do you create, say, a lasting impact on your audience? And I do Do I think Govinda Naam Mera does that? We'll get into all of that. Um, Govinda Naam Mera, ka context I'll give you, is about this guy called Govind A. Vagmare or Govinda, whose birth certificate was defect tha, which he has to live with. This guy is played by Vicky Kaushal and he is essentially a choreographer along with his girlfriend Sukhu, played by Kiara Advani. He also has a wife, Bhoomi Padnekar, who plays the character Gauri. That's not all the characters though, I will keep introducing them, but yeah, those are the main three that is going on. Uh, Gauri is this typical, you know, matlab, apne, uh, bechara pati and she was put zulm dhari hai, blah, 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 won't give him a divorce unless like two crores is given. Now, there's, of course, that conversation around how uh, the idea or the horrors of dowry is kind of minimized. Uh, but that's a whole other discussion. And it's very, very convoluted. I don't think I'm currently equipped to have all of it. I think, I'm, if I'm not wrong, in the beginning, there's a disclaimer about how they do not intend to uh, trivialize dowry. But I mean, who reads the disclaimer? Yaar? I've been saying that who reads it? But okay, all of this is going on. Now, the film has everything. Okay, It's a caper. There is drama. There's masala. There's the pati patni ka jhagda types thing. There are the girlfriends and the boyfriends and the uh, property dispute. There's also a property dispute. There's a stepmother, a stepbrother. And in all of this, there is a murder mystery. Now, all of this as a premise sounds very fun. Like, it's, it's, it's hilarious. It's so much to do with a film. But Govinda Naam Mera feels like a film that you have seen before. In the sense that, which all the Bollywood films we have seen before, which is like this, it will seem like it picks up tropes from all of them, right? And essentially gives you a film that doesn't feel like it's doing anything new in the space. I'm not saying that it's copying anything. Okay, Govinda Naam Mera as a film is not copied. A lot of it seemed original or maybe like I haven't watched enough of these films. But it just seems in original in the sense that you will think that this is what I have seen before. I have seen this before. But the good thing is the casting. The casting is brilliant. It is so much fun. Uh, Bhoomi Padnekar is her laugh riot as Gauri. All of her dialogues are great. My favorite is the one where she's like, Hat manju, isme himmat nahi hai ko goli marne ka. And all of that is just... It all comes together to make such an interesting, fun character and you're rooting for Gauri till the end. Even Vicky Kaushal in this comic role that he has as Govinda is... It's just very well done. Like, even though he has some dialogues that are just not <laughs> not fun or don't land, he does all of them very magnificently. Every scene has this energy that you require from the film. It's great. Even Kiara Adwani, I was so surprised. I think this is the best I have seen her do, uh, maybe as a comic role. Uh, in this one sequence where she's in prison, just having a whole emotional journey is actually, frankly, hilarious. Now, that's the thing with Go in the Naam Mera. There are a lot of gags and jokes that do land, okay? It's not like it's not funny at all. It's entertaining. But within that, it doesn't seem like there is a lot that the film is doing. Let's talk about other films, say, that have a lot going on that actually work out. De Dhanadhan, for example, has so many things happening, you know? There's, there's a dead body, there is a kutta napping, there is the friends trying to make money, there's the girlfriend, there's the relationship, um... There's the boss that hates you. There's a whole fake police chasing thing. There's a lot going on. But it comes together so beautifully. That film is hilarious. You know, every time you watch it, it's great. Then I think the bop of um, uh, these kind of films, Fer Hera Feri or Hera Feri, amazing. So many plot lines going on and most of the jokes land. Sure, I'm sure some of this, it hasn't aged well. I'm not saying that all of these films have aged well. Uh, but they... are entertaining films even despite having so many threads running around and i don't know if govinda or naam mera was a mature enough film to be able to do that it feels like a david dhawan film to be very honest because even if like yara advani's character if you pick her up and place her in say like hero number 1 or i know those are not david dhawan films but if you place him like hero number 1 or uh, andaaz apna apna she would fit right in place and i think that's pretty good for the character because in that sense all of the characters are very distinct aisa nahi hai ki oh uh, there are any two characters who have similar characteristics they're both great but there's still that whole thing of so many tropes coming together that you lose out on the story right so do on that like that's the main issue 
Before I keep going on and on, I have to tell you that you can check out our other episodes from this series as well as other podcasts from The Quint on our website or wherever you get your podcasts from. Oh, uh, <laughs> another film that I want to talk about in this length is Phone Booth. Um, a film that I didn't think would be as entertaining as it was. They also use so many movie references and ad references and homages and yara, yara, yara. The, um, I say yara, yara, yara so much. It's so pretentious. Anyway, uh, there was the uh, the whole um, slice ad wala sequence, the rasi, that whole thing. But I think all of it was so wonderfully placed that it didn't seem like it was just jarring. Even Phone Booth as such is not a film that I would watch multiple times. Uh, but I still think the way that they paid homage or the way that they had references was much better than the way Govinda Namera did. Govinda Namera, I'm sure the casting is honestly excellent. Even uh, Trupti Khamkar as the typical Bollywood tropey domestic help in Govinda and Gauri's house is hilarious as always. I remember seeing her in Girls Hostel and I'm a fan, honestly, of her ward and character. So I love to see that energy in the story as well. I'm very conflicted about Govinda Namera because while it seemed a little draggy, I was still watching... You know, I watched it till the end. Will I watch it again? Maybe not. But I watched it with a friend and we both had a lot of fun. Like she was losing it the entire time. I personally obviously have a little issues with the pacing and the way the story plays out. And yeah, like finally, do I like Govinda Namira? I think genuinely uh, it's a film that you would watch once. But but if um, the Shashank Khaitan band of movies is your thing, I think you very much will enjoy Govinda Namira because I guess it's not my thing. I guess it's not the kind of films that I watch. So, Shashank Khaitan has done uh, Badrinath Ki Dulhaniya for context. <laughs> but yeah, that's my uh, two cents on Govinda Namira and if it's an uh, everlasting comedy. This was all for this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Do I Like It is a Quinn production, executive produced by Ritu Kapoor and Shali Walia, hosted by me, Pratiksha Mishra, produced and edited by Anjali Palod with music from Disney Plus Hotstar and BMG Production. See you next time. You were listening to The Quinn's Podcast.